In this video, we will provide a scenario on patch management where we will select Windows Server 2016 and select only the patching for high and critical severity updates. Our severity ratings are based on the CVSS or Common Vulnerability Scoring System version 3.x standard. This provides the ability to rate Microsoft and non-Microsoft vulnerabilities in the same framework. It is suited as a standard measurement system for industries and companies for an accurate and consistent vulnerability severity score. In this case, the high and critical scores would be vulnerabilities rated between 7.0 up to a 10.0 on a scale from 0 to 10. I'm going to go to Software Management and Patches. And in here, there is a filter selection. Under severity, I'm going to select high and critical. And under products, I'm going to select Microsoft and my Windows 2016 servers. And hit apply. You will see that I have a cumulative update and a servicing stack update that affects two of my Windows 2016 servers. This is two of the four in my environment. If I select a patch, you can read more about the vulnerability. Or I can select both that I wanted to patch. And you will see it says Install Patches. Our system will know what needs to be patched first and any prerequisites to the patch. The wizard will allow you to select which machines to apply this to. In this case, I'm going to select both. After hitting Next, you will see Reboot Options. You can select Reboot Machines if required. If you select this to Yes to reboot the machines, then you can choose up to a 90-minute reboot delay. And you can select to not reboot until a backup is finished. Once you hit Install Patches, this will go and patch based on your filters selected, selection of machines, and post-installation options.